A battle is underway for control of Ukraine's capital, Kyiv. At this hour, explosions can be heard in the city as Russian military forces have advanced to a suburb just outside the capital city. Ukraine's president has vowed to make a stand. WGN's Mike Lowe joins us now with the latest. You've been following this all day. Keeps changing minute by minute. Minute by minute. It really is unfolding at a very fast pace here. Uh, good evening again, mm -hmm. Micah and Ben. Forces reportedly brought down a large Russian plane tonight, but areas surrounding the capital are under assault from Russian missiles. Vladimir Putin wants to overthrow Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who tonight is vowing to stay in the capital and fight. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warned of Russian plans to storm the capital city of Kyiv tonight. He said, quote, we must withstand tonight. The fate of Ukraine is being decided right now. The assault was expected to be the decisive battle, with Ukrainians vowing to stand and fight Russian forces. The country is under assault from the west, north, and east as people endured another day of air raid sirens and explosions. U.S. military intervention in Ukraine is off the table, but the president is increasing the financial punishment on Moscow, joining with Britain and the European Union to freeze the personal assets of President Vladimir Putin. The United States will join them in sanctioning President Putin and Foreign Minister Lavrov and members of the Russian national security team. The move has the support of Illinois Senator Dick Durbin. At this point, we don't know where this is moving to, but we know that we have to respond forcefully. We have to put sanctions on Vladimir Putin, the likes of which he's never seen in his life. Putin is increasingly isolated from the global community, with world leaders condemning his actions. This is a brutal, needless attack on a sovereign, democratic country. It is an atrocity for Ukraine's over 40 million innocent citizens and for the world. The scenes unfolding in the streets and fields of Ukraine are nothing short of a tragedy. Meantime, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations argued that countries should vote for a resolution urging Russia to stop its attack and withdraw all troops from Ukraine. But as a permanent member of the Security Council, Russia vetoed the resolution. You can veto this resolution, but you cannot veto our voices. You cannot veto the truth. You cannot veto our principles. You cannot veto the Ukrainian people. You cannot veto the UN Charter. And you will not veto accountability. Tonight, the Pentagon said Ukraine's resistance is holding up and that Russia is not achieving its objectives. Ukraine is, is fighting back. Uh, they are defending themselves. And as I said uh, earlier to Jen, uh, we certainly have seen indications that uh, the Russians are not, uh, in every case, making the progress that they thought they were going to make. At least 100,000 Ukrainians have been displaced during this Russian invasion, and UN officials warn that there could be a refugee crisis in Eastern Europe with the need for food and shelter for thousands of people in the country.